How many adults in America know how to fold a flag? Hmm. Hey, Scouter Stan, that's an interesting question, isn't it? I wonder. I wonder. We'd have to do some defining on that, but, um, you know, a lot of units start off their meetings uh, with an opening ceremony. Now, typically, um, this is um, preceded by an opening prayer. That typically is the, the best place to start, because even in, um, even in the Scout Oath, uh, we put God first before country. So that's very important. Uh, typically, we do the Pledge of Allegiance at the beginning. Uh, the flags are usually brought in. Uh, there's a process uh, where that's done. And I think every troop does a very unique job of that. Uh, the Pledge of Allegiance is done, and of course they do the Scout Oath, Scout Law, and some units even do the Outdoor Code. So that's typical for most meetings of Scout meetings. Uh, there's, there's reasons we do a lot of that stuff. Now, one of the things that I have a pet peeve with is that when the Scouts are reciting the Scout Oath, the Scout Law, and sometimes the uh, Outdoor Code, the parents sit down. Uh, no. No. Parents should stand and they can make the Scout sign. Um, heavens, you know, even if they haven't filled out the form, at least they're funding Scouting. So, <laughs> I don't have a problem with them reciting the Scout Oath and Scout Law along with their youth. Um, I'm constantly saying uh, to be the uh, example, not the exception. Uh, that's critical. Uh, so a lot of parents need to understand uh, they're part of the troop and part of the pack also, and they need to participate and set the example. Something to think about. Um, typical opening ceremonies are, are very patriotic. Um, you know, how many scouts uh, know how to fold a flag? Um, that has been a requirement in Cub Scouts. It's a requirement in uh, Boy Scouts. Uh, and, and with the girls and the Scouts BSA, that has continued on. Uh, this is a tradition. Uh, we know how to handle uh, the American flag. We're expected to know how to handle the American flag. So flag etiquette is one of those things that the, the flag code of the U.S. Um, should be adhered to as much as possible. Now, just like anything else, I mean, if you really read the flag code, uh, it is quite involved. Okay, it's a lot of legalese. So uh, you kind of have to go with the basis from that. Uh, the American Legion has a wonderful website. I'll link to it down there uh, so that you could click on that and check that out. Uh, they have a lot of information about flag etiquette. Uh, you can even get into more of it. I'll put the code down there so that if you want to check out, you know, what, what the... The, the actual flag code is, I'll make sure that that's also linked down there. Um, about four to five percent of Americans know how to properly fold a flag. Now I'm excluding the scouts and I'm excluding the military, okay? But of that, only four or five percent of Americans know how to fold a flag. Um, that's sad. That's sad. And we need to teach more people how to respect our flag. The flag is a representation of our nation. Uh, we all love America, and that's one of the big things. We need to respect our flag. Um, that's, that's huge. Uh, one thing about flags and flag etiquette and this comes up a lot with Cub Scouts. I, I think they have this perception um, that a lot of times if a flag falls on the floor, uh, some Cub Scouts go running for the matches. Okay, They think they have to burn it immediately. That is not appropriate. 
okay? Um, I often say that scouts uh, with the American Legion, because the American Legion has asked the scouts to participate uh, in retirement of flags, we don't burn flags. We retire them respectfully by cremating them, okay? That's how it's done. Because a flag hit the floor, it may need to be cleaned, <laughs> okay? But most of the time, it does not mean that it is no longer a flag, okay, that demands that respect and all of the things that are going on with it. Um, we, we do cremation of the flags when we retire them, and it's an, it's, it is a highly patriotic thing. If you've been to a flag uh, retirement, you know that. You know that there's there's an immense amount of respect given uh, to this symbol of our country, when, and they get torn up. I live in Florida. We have hurricanes. They tear the dickens out of those poor flags. They just shred them up. And it's sad, but they need to be replaced. Put new ones in there. What do you do with the old one? You get a scout troop to retire it. That's, that's, a, that's kind of the big thing. Uh, one other thing is, is that I've had parents actually approach me and thank me um, for being in scouting and saying that, you know, when I go to a scout meeting, I get to do the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, I haven't done that since I was in grade school. And I just sit there and I go, wow, wow, <laughs> wow. I'm a very patriotic person, okay? And... Uh, that is, the Pledge of Allegiance is a wonderful commitment and the symbol of America, the flag, all of that stuff, very important to me. And uh, so, and I'm sure it's very important to you and your scouts. Um, we're Americans, all different kinds, but we're all Americans. Uh, we're all scouts. It doesn't matter to me. Um, so, flag etiquette, patriotism, all that kind of stuff that's all built, built into the scouting program. And uh, keep that up. Keep infusing that knowledge. Uh, that's critical for our young. Uh, they don't get this in school. Uh, unfortunately, they don't get the, the lesson of how to fold a flag or what it all means. You know, they just, they miss out on that. So... As a supplement to that, we can help them reconnect to their American history. Um, that is, that's a, that's a wonderful thing. That's a big responsibility too. So let's uh, let's all work towards that goal of helping our youth understand more about America, more about the flag, and uh, of course, I know you work hard, and uh, I want you to know that I appreciate it, and I like like to um, give me, shake your hands and all that stuff and be with you, but my goodness, um, through this community that we have here, um, just drop me a line. I know you do well and, and work hard. Keep that up. Uh, our American youth need your help. Um, so keep it up. And of course, like always, I'll see you on the trail.